Welcome everyone to some more Silence to Sleep. We don't have a flashlight, everything is dark. Oh, is this the moonlit bar again? Such a cool painting. Oh, I want this guy's artwork. I want he sells art. The moon bar! Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would you like to have something to drink? No thanks, I feel dizzy already. That's fine, sir. What am I doing here? I invited you, sir. Why? You are in grave danger, sir. What do you mean? That place is not what it seems. Not at all. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I follow. Yeah. That man is good. Really good at what he does. Huh? You mean Clifford? Yes. That's what he's called. But... Now li listen to me, sir. You. Can. Not. Trust. Him. But he was helping me. Why should I believe you? Yes, I understand. He appears as a friend, but think about it. Has he done anything to concrete to help you? He is all words. Worthless words. You said this to me yourself. No. You're playing tricks on me again. Your words truly hurt me, sir. Take a moment. Have I done anything but help you? I'm still your only real friend. I'm trying to look after you. Except when you cut off my hand. But that was fair enough. I was being an asshole to you, so that's what friends do. They cut off each other's hands. And then they go have a drink afterwards. It's perfectly fine. You keep rejecting me. Sorry. It's all so confusing. Yes. I understand that. So. I understand how everything, including me, must appear to you. Tomorrow, try to leave that place. You'll find that there's always something stopping you from leaving. Oh? Uh, yes. I believe my warning was a success. Be cautious, sir. An interesting take on things. Question is, can we truly trust him? I'm inclined to think so. Even though he's a bit of an ass at times, he, he does seem to have our best interests at heart. But the psychologist helped me as well. That dream. I'm not sure I believe him. But I should talk to Clifford right away. Day 2. Apprehension. Is he still drunk in here? Junk. I don't need it. Dude, you need a lot of things. Uh, so we've got to go talk to Mr. Clifford. Supposedly. Yeah, let's do it. I, I want to do the look at the painting, but I assume we can do it afterwards. Morning, Jacob. How did you sleep? Hi, Clifford. Not very well. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Jacob. I was wondering, if I feel like I don't need the treatment anymore, could I leave? Oh, Jacob. I can tell you it's still too early. I think we made some true progress yesterday. It would be a shame if you decided to leave. Sorry. I don't mean it like that. I really appreciate this. No worries, Jacob. I understand. Besides, leaving now would be practically impossible with all the mist around. I think we just need to wait until the weather improves. 
Huh. Okay, I'll get some breakfast. Bye, Jacob. No, no, no. We're gonna save first, then we'll get breakfast. <laughs> um, it's looped. Okay, we're gonna get breakfast first, then we'll. It's looped. Then we'll look at doing things. This is the wrong way. Game saved. Elevator, my friend, come to me. Let's get some breakfast. Let's check this report list. I should probably write this down so I know where everyone is. Okay, written down. Oh. oh, my food's here. So Lorenzo's there, the artist is not. Morning, guys! Hey, Jacob! Sleep well? Not really. Restless dreams. Ah, well. Gives this place some time and it does the trick. You started with the therapy yesterday. How did it go? If you don't mind me asking. I couldn't say. It was so messed up, but Clifford thought we made pro great progress, so I think it was good. Ah, if Clifford says so, you should be happy. Thanks for the encouragement. Sorry. May I ask how you guys ended up in here? Ah, uh, oh, I killed a man. Huh? May I ask why? God told me to. I have not told you anything! Uh, uh, oh. Ha! Sorry, Jacob. Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> oh, it's a perfect joke. Oh, that's awesome. But jokes aside, I have, I have a problem with gambling. I had everything in my life, perfectly well, but of course, a man can never be happy with things he has. So I started playing. Uh, it made me feel better. I kept doing it in secrecy, and at some point I had lost so much my wife found out. We also had a baby on its way, so I agreed to come here as a last resort to save our marriage. Woman. Are you married, Jacob? That's a good question. Let me check my hands. No ring. Nope. I'm single. Lucky you. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear your story, Gerald. Nah. I was stupid enough to dig my own grave. But I'll come out of it, no matter what. I'm sure you can do it, Gerald. How about you, Brad? Well, my story's really boring. To cut it short, I'm a workaholic. I didn't notice it at first. It was my friends that started seeing me changing. I ignored them, told them I was fine, and then came the breakdown. So I'll just charge my batteries here and I'll be good to go. Thanks for telling me, Brad. Pills! Hello, Jacob. Good morning, Gerald. Morning, Brad. Morning, Mr. L. We may have increased your thingy. Hello, Lorenzo. Good morning, Mark. There we are. See you gentlemen later. Bye, Jenny. <laughs> Those two are characters. I love them. You're not the last one here now. And you finished first. Okay. So, I'll just walk in front of your food, and uh, if you don't mind. Okay. So, I guess we'll talk to the artiste. Check if the store's locked still. Yes. Alright, the artiste. 
which I think he's number three, Will A. First things first though. Game saved. Yeah. Don't you dare enter while I paint. God damn it, dude. He's medium patient, I think I can hear something through the door. How are you, Gerald? It's getting worse. Don't know if I can bounce back. I feel desperate. Can you help me, please? Oh, Gerald. Poor man, you are behind a mask of happiness. We can look through Gerald's stuff while he's in therapy. There's something here, a paper with something written on it. I shouldn't read it. I hate this. Such a roller coaster. Not long ago I felt great, positive about things to come. A tiny moment later the weight of it all crashed on my back. <laughs> Sorry. I need to focus. I'm not the only one struggling it seems. Nope. No, you're not, my dear friend. Everyone struggles. Everyone has their demons. Patient room for... Hey, Dewey. Number five. What are you doing with a guitar, Dewey? Hey, Dewey. How's it going? Jacob, my man. I managed to fix my guitar. Then that was a little off place. So it should stay in tune now. I haven't tuned it yet, though. I was just planning to do so, but then you entered my room. How about you do it? Me? I'm not sure I know how. Nah, it's not that hard. Don't worry, I have a simple tuner with me. Just turn the knob until you hit the green light. In the case that the string is in tune. Well, I suppose I could give it a shot. Yeah. Click on the guitar's machine heads to select a tuning a string tune okay we'll start with this one sounds of the sleep that's that is awesome oh my god that's such an awesome brand press e to strum the string use your mouse wheel or left click on the arrows to tune the guitar Am I tuning it the wrong way or? Alright, I've got that one. The great thing about having a roller mouse, you can do this stuff very quickly. Woohoo! though that's about right this would take a while if I didn't have a mouse that could just roll by itself freely Hear that sound? Good job, Jacob. You handled it like a pro. Thanks, Dewey. It was actually more fun than I would have thought. Much more fun than that freaking rabbit, that's for sure. That's why I let you do it. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you something? Not at all. Go ahead, mate. There's something. Uh, a premonition. I'm not sure how to put it in words, but it feels as if something isn't right with this place. Huh? 
So you feel it too? Damn. I don't know why. I really like this place. But still. Yeah. Well, I think it's better if we don't dwell on it. It's probably nothing. Indeed. Okay, I'll get going now. Thanks, Dewey. My pleasure, Jacob. Cool. We're going to end this one here, guys. We're quite over time. See you later.